Hello, in this video we are going to continue putting joints in our rig here. Um, we're going to work on the claw and we're going to do the base here also. Um, both very similar methods. And um, before we continue, I wanted to go over the naming. Um, so right here you'll see that this one's called ma underscore root underscore joint. I think I forgot to put the joint at the end of the when I first did this. Um, so underscore joint. Um, and then this was base A joint, base B, and then um, ma arm A rotation or rot underscore joint. And then this is an extend. And then this is a rotation, but arm B. And this arm B extend. And then this is arm C rotation. And then I have a claw base underscore joint. Um, so make sure your name and stuff as you go. Um, but here we go. So let's duplicate this. And what we need is the rotation of this right here. So sometimes it's hard to see, um, but what I'll do is I'll select the faces on this and then select that new joint that I made and isolate select. That way I can use this by, make sure I have my, Topology scene by clicking on there and then holding down C and dragging into the middle there. Then I'm going to snap this to the middle by holding and only on this orientation or this um, translation. Make sure it snaps right in the middle there. So now that rotation should be right in the center of this pivot. Now um, I'm going to duplicate this again. I'm going to put this on the tip like that. So that looks good. And in general, we want our joints to be pointing to each other. Um, it's usually fine unless it's rotating on the world axis. So like the root and this and this, um, but these rotate like they're oriented towards each other. Um, so this one, we need to use the aim constraint method. So I'll go to rigging, constraint, and aim. we want so this one point of this one and I'll name this like that I'm not sure if it's the right order but it is okay so pointed to always goes first and now I can delete this and what we're gonna name this is claw rote claw a Call a underscore rot rotation, and this will be call a. Let's name it tip, and then what we're going to do is put this underneath this one, so it should look something like this, and then when I rotate from this. It should rotate perfectly on there. Okay. Um, so then this next piece is going to be a little bit different extra information um, than what we've seen in other videos. So what we'll need to do is rotate this around and sometimes adding a group or another node that is parented over this and rotating around it um, is the fastest way of figuring that out. Um, so I'm going to go 
group it by hitting Control G. You see our pivot point of our group is down here. We need to make it in the center of this piece. So we can do that by isolating. So I'm gonna select the face of this, double clicking, and then selecting the group and then isolating it. So now I have these two things and I have a middle point here. So now I can move my middle, my pivot point by holding down D and V in middle mouse, and snapping it to that center point. So now I can rotate from this. I can even hit control shift, right click and go to discrete rotation, and rotate 90 degrees to each one of these. And it should be pretty close to the center of each one of these, if it's symmetrical. Okay. Oh, looks like I got out of D, V, middle mouse. Hold on, middle mouse. There we go. And now, turn off isolate, select. I'm going to duplicate it. And just rotate till it's 90 degrees. So it should be something like this. Duplicate, rotate. Okay, rotate. So every 90 degrees. So now I have this. I'm going to select all these claw rotation and then make sure that you go to object. Um, I'll show you what happens if you don't do the object. So if you do this, you'll see all of them kind of rotate to the world, which we don't want. We want to use object and it should fan out like this because this is the motion that we want. So something like that. Okay. So now I'm going to select all these. I'm going to select the top of this joint, the all the rotation joints, and put them under claw base. And they should all go under like this. And now I need to just rename this. So instead of a, I'll do B. Just put, it doesn't really matter the order too much, but as long as the tip and, and rotation of the same claw, it matches. Because we don't want any naming conflicts. There we go. Something like that. And um, basically do the same thing, but for the base. I don't think I need to make a video continuing with this. Basically, you add a joint here, add a joint here, have them point to each other, add a group that's in the center of the world, rotate until you get, I think it's every 45 degrees, and there you go. Um, I'll see you in the next video.